Welcome back to another video review in the series of packed games. This is the Carpet Stacker, and this is Lie. Lie is a party style bluffing card game for up to 6 players that plays in 20 minutes and has an intermediate complexity rating. Your goal in this game is to bluff your way through by guessing the number of dice there are in all players' hands. Be the last one out, and you become the winner of Lie. In the game of Lie, you first shuffle the cards face down in the pile in the center of the table. Every player now draws 5 cards randomly and arranges them so that that's the dice they want. You may want to go for sets of dice. Also, don't show any of these cards to the other players until it's time to reveal. Once a selection has been made, card positions may not be changed. Starting with one player, he will bid by announcing two numbers. The quality and the quantity of the card that could be found in all players' hands. The player may begin with two twos. The next player has two options. Either raise the bid or announce the previous player is a liar. If the player wants to raise the bid, he or she may raise the quality of the dice or the quantity of the dice. If he wants to raise the quality, the player simply changes the quality of the dice to a higher one. From two twos to two fours or two fives, for example. If the player raises the quantity, the player may also change the quality. From the first example for two twos, it can be raised to three twos or three ones. Bits can also be five threes, six ones, or six sixes. On a side note, each dice could appear up to 10 times at any given round. If the current player thinks and accuses the last player for being a liar, then all the cards in all the player's hands are revealed. If the player correctly accuses the player whose bid is higher than the combined total of cards, the bidder will pay the penalty by drawing one less card every round. If a player ends up with zero cards to draw, then that player is eliminated from the game. If the player's bid was equal or lower than the number of cards in play, then the player who accuses loses and draws one less card every turn. The last player still left in the game becomes the winner of Lie. And in a variant, ones could be used as a wild. And that was a quick overview of Lie. If you already know how to play Liar's Dice or Perudo, then you'll have an easier time to learn this game. Lie is probably based on either one of these two games, but does it make the game any less interesting? The answer is no, because you're dealing with cards and not dice. Unlike dice, Lie is designed so players have the knowledge of how many cards could show up in a round. Yes, you don't have the shake, rattle, and roll, but the same feeling of bluffing and pushing your luck are there in Lie. This is the only party style game in the pack of games series, and it goes up to 6 players, which is the most in the series. For me, Lie is interchangeable with Liar's Dice, but I could see Liar's Dice being played more. I also like the cards are shuffled in the middle in a messy pile. At the end, Lie is a good bluffing game. Check out the other reviews of the Pack of Games series, subscribe, comment, and follow us on Twitter. This is the Garbage Stacker, and keep on stacking games.